the release of the first developer diary for Elite Dangerous Odyssey we finally have our first tentative looks at what the expansion will look like and what we can expect. In this video we're going to break down what the video tells us and what details we can glean from what was shown. In the 4.5 minute video we see snippets of interviews with some of the Frontier design and development staff as well as some pre-alpha in-engine footage. We are also shown concept art and renders of the space suited commanders of the type that we saw in the Odyssey announcement trailer however game director Piers Jackson also makes mention that as part of wearing the spacesuit, you'll hear your own breathing whilst inside it. Fantastic audio design has always been part and parcel of the design of Elite Dangerous and it'll be fascinating once we see actual gameplay to hear that design work extended to the on foot experience. As the team continued to describe the experience of finally being able to stand on the surface of an alien world we are shown a space suited commander looking up from the surface of an airless world whilst standing in front of an SRV. This is actually quite a significant shot. Whilst we'd always assumed that the Odyssey on foot experience would extend to the airless worlds of Horizons it's never been explicitly stated. As part of the diary it was great to hear and see the exploration in Odyssey was very much front and centre throughout. Some of the major concerns we'd heard voiced after the launch trailers release revolved around its emphasis on weapons and guns and there were fears in certain quarters of the community that Odyssey was nothing more than a first person shooter add on. Whilst we didn't here believe that to be the case it's nice to see Frontier addressing it perhaps as a response to the community reactions to the trailer. Exploration is a massive component in the overall elite experience, arguably one of the largest parts of the community in fact and it makes absolute sense that Odyssey would extend elites already existing exploration gameplay down to the on foot level. To further underline the exploration slant of the whole diary Frontier showed off concept art for new flora that will be discoverable on planets with tenuous atmospheres and the exploration angle was again further underlined with a look at the new handheld sampling tool that will allow players to take genetic data from Flora, add it to their codex and also exchange the data for rewards in the game. What those rewards are we have yet of course to find out. The video contained a number of scenes showing off the new planetary surface rendering technology that is being developed for Odyssey and this footage did provide the most visually impressive revelations of the diary. Both from orbit and down at ground level the new planet and atmospheric tech looks seriously impressive. By way of comparison we visited the planets that were shown in the dev diary in the current live game and the two different versions are, if you'll excuse the pun, worlds apart. The current versions are fairly bland, featureless and frankly fairly uninteresting to look at. In Odyssey they really come alive with detail and we're promised ice and rock specific features accurate to what you'd expect to find in the real environment in true elite style. This first dev diary was a small peek at some of what we can expect from Odyssey and as such it does that job just fine. Will it persuade any of the current Odyssey naysayers? No, I don't think it will. To even begin that process we really need to see and hear actual gameplay and I'd argue that that's not what this initial dev diary purports to be showing. What we do have here is a very good graphic demonstration of the new planetary and atmospheric rendering technology and some hints at where the gameplay for explorers and wanderers in the black might be headed. What will start to ease some community fears are actually smaller details like how will atmospheric entry be handled, how does your commander get from the chair to the foot of the stairs outside the ship, can you move around inside your ship, how will the handling of ships, weapons and SRVs be affected by the presence of an atmosphere. These are all very valid questions and I'm sure answers to them are coming and we are still at least 5 months away from the release of Odyssey. What we have in this diary is a solid start. The planetary tech in particular is looking stunning and it's left me very keen to see and hear more. Thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video remember to subscribe to the channel and we very much look forward to seeing you next time.